NRJ, in collaboration with the Church of Pentecost Worldwide, presents Appreciation of COP Originals coming to you every week with spirit-filled songs, words of encouragements and more. Starting from the 1st of August 2020, climaxing the season on the 24th of October 2020 with a virtual concert. Follow us on social media, Facebook, CNRJ Photography, YouTube, Charismatic, and Instagram, CNRJ Photography. Don't miss out on this powerful experience. Praise the Lord. My name is Charisma Kwe, and I welcome you all to CNRJ's Appreciation of COP Originals 2020. Today, we are honored to have the International Missions Director of the Church of Pentecost with us, Apostle Emmanuel J.C. Addo. We are so honored to have him endorsing this program for us. And I hope and I pray that this video motivates you and encourages you to sing more of the COP songs, not only at home, but also in your various locals. Stay blessed, stay tuned, and God bless you. Don't forget to share it with your friends and your family. Praise the Lord, brothers and sisters out there. It is always an exciting time to be with you and to join you as we worship God and praise him together. Today, we are talking music. Uh, music is an important part of our Christian worship. I believe that many religions also have music as forming a very important part of their worship, but to the Christian church, it is even more so. Um, the Bible says that sing a new song unto the Lord, and so uh, I believe that God himself is very, very excited uh, if we sing new songs to him uh, over and over all the time. And um, because of that, he continues to give us music. He continues to give us songs over the years. Um, Historically, from the, from the Old Testament to the New Testament, when you check the Bible, a whole book is dedicated to the subject of, of songs or music. And that is the book of Psalms. Uh, it's about the longest book in the Bible, 150 chapters, even though we don't call them chapters because they are songs, but 150 of them, it tells you how important music is in our Christian faith. Over the ages um, in history, God has given us people like John Wesley, Charles Wesley, and many others who have blessed the Christian church with beautiful songs, which we continue to sing even up to today. How sweet the name of Jesus sounds in a believer's ear. It soothes his sorrows and heals his wounds and casts away his fears. This, this is a beautiful and powerful song that we still sing today and many, many others, captain of Israel's host and guide of all who seek the land above. So these are songs that we have sung over the years. In our days, and especially in Ghana, for the Pentecostal churches, God has gifted us with people like Mama Eunice uh, Addison of Blessed Memory, uh, Mama Eunice Johnson, who is still with us today. Uh, and today, we still have people in recent uh, times that uh, have also been given to the church as a gift by God to bless us with songs. People like Apostle Professor Opoku Onyina of the Church of Pentecost, um, Mrs. Grace Gapeto, also of the Church of Pentecost, and many other pastors or ministers and officers and members, even Sunday school children recently uh, we heard on Penn TV a nine-year-old child uh, who had received a very beautiful song by inspiration and uh, it was sung on Penn TV. We learned it and we, we have begun to sing it in church. So God is so good. God is gracious. And because he wants us to sing him, uh, to, to sing unto him new songs, he continues to give us uh, new songs all the time. Unfortunately, uh, even as some denominations are excited and, and, and are using our songs everywhere and worshiping and praising God through them, um, some within our own fold in the Church of Pentecost do not seem to really appreciate the depth and the relevance and the spirituality 
uh, of our songs. Uh, and so many a time we hear complaints that in our church we don't, we don't sing our songs, we rather prefer singing songs from elsewhere. Yeah, uh, songs from elsewhere are also good uh, because if they are Christian songs, they, they, they elevate Christ and all that, that is okay. But we also want to make our songs popular because we believe that they are songs from the throne room of God, filled with the Spirit. And they are here to inspire us. They are here to lift us up uh, so that we can express our devotion, our love, our thanksgiving, and our praise to God. So let's make our songs popular. Let's sing COP songs. For example, uh, when you are down and things are really present on you, you need an anchor. There is this beautiful song, You Have Been My Anchor, The Anchor of My Soul. You have been my anchor, the anchor of my soul. You have been my anchor, a solid rock. You will never fail me, you will carry me through. Jesus, you're my anchor, the anchor of my soul. This is a beautiful song that you can sing any day, any time. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. In you, O Lord, do I take refuge. Do not cast me from your presence, be to me a rock of refuge. You are my hiding place and shield. Beautiful, beautiful song. How about Come Down Like Rain? Come down like rain, divine grace. Upon me now, refresh my soul. Come down like rain. Divine grace upon me now, refresh my soul. Strengthen me in my walk with you to know your will, Lord, and please you. Beautiful, beautiful songs. I think that we want to encourage our churches, especially our PIWCs in Africa, in Europe, in North America, in other parts of the world to spend time and teach these songs. Spend time and learn these songs and then let's encourage the whole congregation to sing these songs, make them popular and also advertise them to other people who may stand in need of such soul inspiring songs to be able to enrich their worship. So when I heard this initiative by our sister Charisma Kwe in Germany. I was so excited uh, because it's a program to um, make our songs popular, to bring our focus on what God has given to us, to appreciate what we have uh, so that we can teach it to other people. And so when I heard that Charisma Kwe, our sister, is putting this program together, I was so excited and excited that I would give it my um, wholehearted endorsement. Uh, and so I want to encourage all of you through this medium to uh, support our sister Charisma Kwe and her team so that this program will be a resounding success to the glory of God. It is a program that is aimed at glorifying the name of the Lord through the instrument of music. And I want to encourage all of us to pay attention to it, to support, and also to get involved. God bless you, and see you another time.